Hello, you lot. Tree here in Oxford. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of your um, videos lately. Um, well, trying to catch up because my computer is still keeps freezing. The most com inconvenient time. It just does it whenever it feels like it now. And. That's part of the reason why I haven't really answered anyone's, um, you know, anyone who's commented on my video, because I'm trying to catch up on people and uh, never know when it's going to freeze and when it ain't, it's, it does my head in. Anyhow. Tonight, I am smoking this rather nice pipe that I found at the car boot at the weekend. This is a uh, Ben Wade. Um, ben Wade. Uh, let's see if it's got anything else written on it. Says Ben Wade Walnut Briar Leeds, England. Twenty Al, and it's got the little Ben Wade bit on the stem as well. There you go. Very nice pipe. Lovely grain round top. In it, I'm smoking pirate cake, which is delish. And that's a really nice um, Latakia blend. I love it. But you know me. I love Lataki. But a Latakia attack. I'm ready to go out now. Oops. It's alright, it's not a problem. Yeah, my last video, the uh, camera ran out of time and just cut me off. And then I couldn't work out how to load it. And this is my missus' phone, you see. And well, I ain't got a mobile phone myself. And it's all newfangled technology to me. It really is. Yes. Alright. Me smoking at them. Yep. My beard's um, coming along all right. Looks a little bit odd because I've been growing the middle of it for years and trying to catch up with the sides. But I, I, every now and again, I just a little bit of scraggly ends off the bottom and eventually it uh, equal out uh, as I said I've uh, been trying to keep up with everyone but it's difficult when your machine keeps freezing there's lots of gauze going on and 
I've watched a lot of a lot of them, but yeah, uh, haven't been able to post much lately. Uh, with troubles with that and troubles with uh, what we done with that? Hmm. Troubles with uh, other stuff which I won't go into because I don't want to bore you. Yeah, had a successful sort of car boot at the weekend. Uh, first time I've been in a car boot for a couple of weeks. I think I've had about two weeks I've missed due to rain and lack of funds. And well, I've still got lack of funds, but it, I mean, car boot was all right. Uh, I think I was about three degrees when I went. Um, the ice on top of the car was pretty much melted when I got outside. But I think it was about just gone seven. But let me uh, see if I can find some other stuff to show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, want my video cut out right at the wrong time the other day. Just getting into the swing of things. Let's keep this pipe loaded actually. Lighted. Lighted? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, just a tamper. Looks like part of a check tool, but it's just by itself. No indication that it was part of a check tool. But what do I know? Yeah, here's one of the things I found at the car boot. Condor ready rubbed. I don't know when it's from. You know, uh, I've had one bowl of it. I hydrated it a bit. And, uh, Delicious. That tastes lovely as well. I'm gonna, I think tomorrow I'm going to go and buy a, a modern day pouch of Condor to compare it because if the modern stuff tastes like this, we'll be smoking more now. But this is, um, who is it made by? Blind as a bat. Gallagher. Where do I see that? Yeah. Gallagher Limit, Limited, Weybridge, Kent. Yeah, this must be quite old. It was only a 25 gram pack, but it's um, it was sealed, so but it, I mean, it's dry as a bone, so I imagine it's from maybe 70s, 80s. I'm not sure because it's got it has got a um, barcode on it, but it's got no there's the half horn in that little line down the bottom there. 
so I say I'll go and get a pouch of the real um, well the stuff they make nowadays and I shall compare the two and that cost me two quid uh, yeah I was on a live chat with Chad the other night and I think he happened to mention he said oh I'd love to see Tree Cellar you know I think it might be something special basically like that um, a little bit of sweet sweet rum twist which um Philistine give Philistine give me at the Piper's picnic up in London. Um, I've got a little bit of Java left, which Crosby give me. Jeff, the missus likes that, so I'll take it easy. Um, and pirate cake, which Tim gave me. I think. Yeah, I'm about halfway down a tin on that one. Across the pond, which Jeff gave me as well. Um, this one ain't been ain't been opened. I'm not gonna, I'm not really salaring it because being a, an English with Latakia in it, it won't make much of a difference. And last but not least, with the um, box of pipes I got at the car boot. Where was this in there? Capstan Navy Cut Full. It had been opened, but no one's touched it. So, this is, this is dry as I don't know what. Smell. Smells lovely. Yeah. But I haven't tried that one yet. But the Condor was oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Anyway. I'm afraid this is going to be a bit of a rambly chatty. Because I've got. Got a fair bit of time on the uh, recording timer tonight. So you're going to have to put up with me a little bit longer, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'll show you a few more pipes if you want. Okie dokie, I will now. Oh, here's something interesting I found at the car boot the other day. It's not pipe related, but most of you might recognise the um, might recognise the look of it. Um, as to um, I mean, this is where the idea for something come along. Um, you should be able to tell anyway, won't you? And there we go. This is a doorbell. But, this is where the idea for the 
modern tattoo gun come from? You know, it's got the same idea. Got the coils and the spring. And a lot of the old tattoo guns, um, I know Bob, who was my good friend and tattooist. He had some what they call wood backs, which was basically the same as this. They looked like they basically took the bell off and fixed the tube on it. You know, and that was the frame for the, for the tattoo gun. Obviously, uh, it weren't overly hygienic having a wooden back, which you couldn't really wipe down. But there's a bit of history for you. Yeah, I'll just kick it off, Holmes. Don't worry about it. Like a cat just likes to sleep on top of anything that's about, you know. And if he he's not comfortable, he just kick it on the floor. Yeah, this is um, actually made by Meccano Limited in Liverpool. So. That's that. Sorry to bore you with stuff like that. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Let's light my pipe back up. Hmm. Uh, look. Got a message from... Old Berg, saying he's never tried Union Jack. No. Rat Race Union Jack. I, uh, I tried it. Well, I'll smoke the old tin now. It's amaretto flavour. But, um, I think it was Piper John. Um, He's part of the Leeds Bike Club with Tim. I was having a, um, he was doing a live chat and we ended up talking for a couple of hours. So if you don't know Piper John, go and sub him. Um, I would put a link down below, but I haven't got a clue how to do that. Lucky, you know what I mean? I've just about got the hang of the computer, even though the mm. keeps um, freezing, which is quite disheartening. Mm. Yeah. yeah. When you've got a big black dog following you about, the last thing you need is stupid little things like computers freezing. Uh, I'm getting the hang of fixing it, although it does seem to do it every single day. Annoying. A bit like me. Yeah, so I'm a bit behind on you lot, but there's been some good stuff going on. Uh, Chad, I'll... hello, was that a freeze? do that it's a phone um yeah chad um i'll get me head together and drop you a message on um gmail um i mean the last couple of days this with a stupid computer that's why you uh you know, a couple of times I've been talking on a live one. Um, I think on si one of Simon's ones the other weekend. 
and nattering away and then it just froze up solid and I couldn't do nothing with it so I couldn't get back on there uh, I apologise for that but that's computers for you never had that trouble in my day when you when you had a slate and a bit of chalk to write on it well Yeah. I haven't really shown you many pipes, have I? What we got? Twenty minutes. Shall we have a look and um, see if I've got anything? Mildly interesting. Here's a weird one. It's a ceramic one. But it reminds me of um, one of the Doctor Who monsters. I think it was. Uh, Ice Warriors or something. That's quite a. It's heavy. I don't know, you can clench that. You pry your top teeth out. Not that I've got any. That's why I don't use the softy bits. It's got no teeth to leave any marks. There's a Dr. Plum with a square shank and a big bowl. Not not as big a bowl as Stumpy, but there you go. Uh, there's another one I've just cleaned up. Which was one of the weekend finds, which is a uh, Falcon Coolway, which is at 9mm. I haven't smoked it yet. I haven't long finished cleaning it, but. It, it feels like a really nice pipe. Uh, I look forward to smoking that. This isn't a Falcon, this is a Lonson. Uh, it's quite weird actually, it's a... Uh, it's got a stabby, pointy, tubey type thing. Uh, basically it's got one hole this end. And two holes this end. So the air has got to go all the way up here, through a hole in the side, and then down the centre tube, and then get drawn in by that, which is back down by the bowl again. So it, it takes, like, what's that, about four inches, three inches, about three inches, and so it's got to go up there, and back down, and back up. So it works at about 9, 10 inches. The travel's got to smoke. The travel's got to smoke? Yeah, the smoke's got to travel. I think it sounded better the other way, huh? There's a lot of uh, new pipers out there. Uh, I'll be nattering to some of them until uh, my feed goes down. Look at that. That's a uh, F and T. Okay. 
Can't even read that with my glasses on. Yeah, F and T. Well, I don't think that's the right stem for it, but it looks good like that. It's an eyeball singer. I sat down with a pipe last night. On the well, I was sat on the floor, um, relaxing with my pipe. And my legs started burning, and uh, there was a big red bit of, you know, sort of, um, ash, you know, but a bit that was still burning on my uh, trouser leg, burnt a hole right through it, and into my leg. But... Okay, it's only, it's only pain, isn't it? The physical pain isn't as bad as the mental pain I go through every day. <laughs> I'm not going to get into that. Unless you want to see a grown man cry. Show you this. I found it a car boot. How about that? And he's smoking a pipe. And he's got a beard. And he's got tattoos. And a bald head. Sort of reminds me of uh, about 50% of the pipe producers, pipe um, presenters. Oh, he's even got a whale tattooed on his back. Can't believe we didn't see that. Still, and on his chest, he's got four dots. Just like my Brigham Pipe. So, whoever made that, I reckon smoked a pipe. Still out there. Hello. You still out there? If you if you if you're still out there, thanks for watching. Um oh, it aches all overs, is it? Anyway, I'm going to uh, light a pipe, and I hope you've got yours lit. My clock says it is five o'clock in the morning. Then it's time for me to get up. Right, you lovely people. I will see catch you on the next one. That is the end. There isn't any more.